Okay guys, so you've got to be wondering what the heck is she talking about from the title of this video. This is what had happened, okay? I get great ideas uh, from you guys, from friends, and my friend gave me this idea. Um, it's funny because she watches my blog channel. I'll include the link below. It's where I take you along and, you know, I go looking for new products uh, weekly. And usually it's, you know, at some point over the weekend and I load the video up and show you the display, how much things are, that kind of thing. Um, and my friend um, <laughs> is in a habit of every week asking me, okay, well, which products are you trying out this week? And she asked me that yesterday, and I was like, you know, um, do you think other people might want to know what I'm trying out this week? And then that way I can let them know the next week what I thought of it. And she goes, um, yeah, that way I wouldn't have to email you every week and say, you know, hey, I just saw your video on so-and-so. Are you trying that out this week? What do you think of it? Da -da 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 -da. You know, that kind of thing. So I thought we would try that. I'm going to show you what products I'm going to be trying out this week and then get back to you next week around the same time, uh, around the same day and let you know what I thought of the products, what my impressions were, what happened, you know, while wearing them, that kind of thing. So, you know, just kind of a review and this is something I got a couple uh, like two weeks ago and uh, I vlogged about it showed the display it's fuzzy coat nail polish by Sally Hansen well I ended up trying it out and not liking it uh, it's really weird and I put it up on Instagram follow me on Instagram and Twitter you can kind of chime in on things that you um, have already tried give your opinion on them that kind of thing I love to hear what you guys think you know because you try things and you know can have a totally di different experience from me and that's what I found with the you know posting this on Instagram some people really like it uh, anyway this is what happened and I'll, I'll just show you this was really good when it came to just being on my nails in one coat without a base that kind of a thing. It looks really pretty. So this is, would be great to me if you put it on your nails alone. Um, the color I have is called Wool Light and it's number 100. If you put it on alone, but what happens is, is when you put two layers on or if you put it over a base coat with two layers, it, it, it's all clumpy and gross and it takes forever to dry and you put on a top coat and it's, it's really a mess. So if you want to put it over another color, I say it's okay. If you want to put it on your nails alone in one coat without a, like a base coat, it's okay. But I don't know, not my favorite. Not something I would, you know, repurchase or get the other colors on. But it's going to be fine for some people. Just my personal opinion. So yeah, we're going to do stuff like that. I'm going to tell you about all of these products in kind of the same way next week. Just what worked, what didn't work. Um, that kind of thing. So here we go. I'm going to show you what products I want to tell you about next week. We'll start at the drugstore. I have a mixture of drugstore and high end. We'll start with the drugstore. Now this has got to be the most, I got so many emails on the vlog I did last, uh, the last vlog I did on my vlog channel about this because I found this display. It's new from L'Oreal. It's Magic Nude Liquid Powder. I got the deepest color available, Soft Sable, and I already tried it yesterday, but I'm going to, I'm going to try, I don't like to just try something once and tell you about it. I try it several times under different conditions to tell you about it. Anyway, I got Soft Sable. Um, this was $10.49 at Bed Bath & Beyond, uh, number 332 Soft Sable. So I'm going to tell you about this. It's a very interesting consistency. I didn't know it, it is a liquid. When I tried it yesterday, it came out as a liquid. So Soft Sable, number 332. We'll see. I'm going to try another Sally Hansen polish. This is Sugar Coat. This is number 100 Bubble Plum. And it's supposed to give you a textured finish, um, so I'm going to try that out. The next thing is Jessie's Girl. I haven't tried this liner yet. I picked this up. It's a waterproof liquid liner. I'll show you the tip. I got it in black. Uh, this was $6.99. Um, Jessie's Girl. I got this at Rite Aid. Uh, the Sugar Coat, I saw a couple different places. I picked that up at Bed Bath & Beyond. Uh, this was at Rite Aid, and a uh, really nice tip. I'm excited to use it. I'll just show you. It is a nice, fine black line uh, with $6.99, so I'm going to try that out this week. And the other thing I picked up this past weekend uh, that's new, uh, it was at Bed Bath & Beyond for $6.99, is... L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes Excess. Now I tried the original Million La or Volu Voluminous Million Lashes out. Wasn't super impressed. It's not something I tried it when it first came out a while ago. I haven't purchased any of the other formulations of it. But this one I wanted to try out because it says excess. And it says intense maximize volume. Those are the words that draw me in. I don't know about you. I'm all about volume, not length. Okay, so that's it for the drugstore. Now the high-end things I'm going to try out. This, um, most of this I got at Nordstrom. Um, they had the most amazing event that I went to with my friend. And um, it was the... Uh, 
gosh, what trend show. If you have a Nordstrom near you, check out and find out when they're having their trend show. I went to it last year. This year I went. It is amazing. Um, you get to go to all the counters. They have every every counter. They'll make you up. You can make an appointment to do it. It is just the most exciting event. I had the best time me and my friend shopping around. It's Armani's Lip Maestro Intense Velvet Color Number 400. And this really caught my eye. I think I saw this on Temptalia. She reviewed uh, a couple of these colors. There's a wide range available, but this is the classic red number 400, and I will be trying it this week. Look at that. Very, very pretty. And I think these came out at the end of last year, so I'm not always going to be trying out the newest things, but there will be a lot of new products mixed in. But then some other things, especially with the high end, sometimes it takes me a while to get to it. This is kind of new. Uh, Deborah Lippman, they have a mermaid collection. This is Mermaid's Kiss. And this was surprising to me. I got this at the trend show at, um, you know, shopping after the trend show at Nordstrom, and I was just so impressed with how beautiful this looked on someone else's nails. Um, there's a whole line of different colors uh, in the mermaid line. I don't know if it's just called mermaid line, but whatever. Uh, but this is the one I really wanted to get because I looked at, you know, a couple different people with na the colors on and I was like, ooh, this is cool. So Mermaid's Kiss, I will be trying out and, you know, do a nail of the day post. NARS. Now I showed this to you very briefly in my best from the brand NARS video that I got this. I hadn't tried it out and this week is the week. It's NARS. Uh, a lot of people have asked me to try these out. Satin Lip Pencil in U and that's YU is the color. It's a beautiful bright fuchsia right in my happy zone. There it is swatched on my hand. Pretty. I hope it's moisturizing. You know, that's what I'm going to be looking for. I don't like those dry lips. All right, this is next. Bobbi Brown picked this up again at Nordstrom. All of these things are on Nordstrom's website. If you want to know the prices, definitely go there because I don't remember because the trend show was like three weeks ago. All right, these are Bobbi Brown uh, Long Wear Cream Shadow Sticks. And these have been out for a while, but I've never tried them. And you know how I love, look at this. This is redonkulous, okay? I love shadow sticks. Okay, those are all of mine and I haven't tried Bobby's yet and I really want to. So the colors I got, the first one is Violet Plum. I'll swatch that on my hand. Violet Plum I picked up. Really pretty. And then I picked up, this color was, call them a name, it's called Forest. It's green. Let me just swatch it because it, you can't really see. Forest. Look at that. So I'm going to try that. Very excited. All right, this, a lot of people ask me to try this as well. This is Makeup Forever's Pro Finish Multi-Use Powder Foundation. I have color 177, hopefully that's right. The guy that helped me at us for was really great and I got this a while ago and I just hadn't tried it yet. This is gonna be good because it's gonna force me and if you notice, I've got like things in different areas. Things for my eyes, things for my lips, things for my lashes, that kind of thing. I'm gonna try to come up with a good configuration of things so it's easy to kind of try it all. Um, that's what it looks like. And you know I'm interested in this because of my combination oily skin. So that's what the color looks like. And like if you lift it up, you get the little puff. So this I picked up at Sephora though. So check for that. It's Makeup Forever's. Uh, and they have a, a lot of colors. I checked that out at Sephora. Okay. The last thing I'm excited about, it's Armani. These I've never tried before. They're fluid shears, and I saw so many good posts on Cafe Makeup, the Beauty Lookbook, on these fluid shears, I had to try them. I got two. One's kind of a bronzy one, it's number 12, and I'll try to get some out. I don't know, I haven't used the pump yet, if it'll come out, oh, there it is. Oh my goodness, that looks gorgeous. This is number 12. It's kind of the more, the deeper one. Look at that, that is gonna be fun to try. And you know I'm a crazy fool about my highlighting products. Like today I pulled out my Laura Mercier um, Illuminator. Oh my gosh, I'm crazy about my highlighters. I usually don't tell you all about, when I did my video I didn't tell you about that because it was limited edition and it's gone now. Um, anyway, number nine I have is a really pretty pink and these are really great to mix. That's the other thing uh, that I learned off the websites that you know I saw reviews on these for. Look at that. That is number nine right there, nine and 12. So yeah, I'm gonna be having some fun trying all this stuff this week and next week around the same day, I'm gonna tell you what I thought of everything. Hopefully this is a, a fun idea that you all like and uh, I will talk to you very soon. Have a great week and uh, you'll see me soon. I'm gonna do the best from the brand for NYX this week and I haven't picked the high-end brand I'm gonna do this week but I'm thinking it might be Bare Minerals. It might be Bare Minerals. I got a lot of requests for Bare Minerals. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.